Welcome to this part two of how I shot my first ever music video. If you are unaware that there are parts to this, then yeah, go. I, I would suggest going and watch part one. It's, <laughs> it's really distracting having a dog walk past in the background. <laughs> But it's a welcome, it's a welcome interruption. Welcome to part two of this two-part series on how I shot my first ever music video. In the first one, I talked about how we actually landed the music video, how we went about designing it, and just a few kind of pre-production, and just, I don't know, general tips that I learned from the process. And then in this part, I'm gonna run you through how we create the visual style. So let's get things started with the details that everybody cares about on YouTube. And that is camera equipment. What camera equipment was actually used to shoot this music video? Uh, I was using the Ursa Mini Pro G2, and I was using it in combination with my Helios 44-2 Schneider 2 times anamorphic DIY Frankenstein anamorphic setup. It's like a combination of a bunch of different elements all stacked together. So that was my A cam, and then I was mixing that in with footage from the Pocket Cinema Camera 4K that I had set up on my Movi Pro. So that was permanently set up on a gimbal, and I was making use of the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. Now, obviously. The anamorphic and the Sigma, very different lenses. Anamorphic is a vintage, old, dirty lens that does all sorts of weird stuff, whereas the Sigma is a very clean and crisp lens. So to kind of get around that and make them match up, I was making use of a lot of ProMist. So I had a quarter and an eighth ProMist on the front of the Sigma 18 to 35, just to dirty it up a little bit and make it so that it sort of matches up with the anamorphic. So now the camera gear is out of the way and 80% of people have stopped watching at this point because that's the only thing that matters. And uh, let's move on to the location and, and how we actually shot this thing with the location. So the location is called Natural Light Studios. I'll put a link to them down in the description. They were fantastic. And the clue's in the name. We're gonna have to make use of natural light here. You know, there's no, there's no getting away from it. So the first thing that I did is I went onto Google and I kind of looked up how the building was orientated and then I worked out where the sun was going to be in relation to our shoot. And I found out it was gonna be going along the left side and then it was gonna come around the back towards the end of the day and shoot through that back window. I was also keeping an eye on the weather to know if we're gonna be dealing with harsh sunlight coming in through those windows, which would be actually quite difficult to deal with, or if we were going to get clouds. Thankfully in England, you can kind of rely on getting clouds and on the day we did. Now, a big element of the look that we ended up with was atmosphere. You know, as soon as I saw the location, I thought this would look absolutely awesome with some haze in the room. So I got my hazer, chucked it in the corner. It was the first thing I did when I arrived on set. I just switched it on and it stayed on for the full day. It was just chucking out, chucking out haze and just making the air thick so that you get that volumetric lighting, you get that feeling of depth. You can see the light blooming around the windows. It just, it adds so much to the scene. And then lighting wise, I kind of kept things Pretty simple, you know, once again, coming back to what I said in the first video, if you execute a simple concept well, it's gonna look a million times better than a complicated concept that's been failed to be executed. I knew that I was just gonna have these little tungsten lights that were dotted around the worm. I was gonna have the light from the windows, obviously, being my practical lights, essentially. And then from there, I was gonna just try and keep it looking as natural as possible, but shaped natural. So I had my Aperture 300D with an absolutely massive softbox on the front of it. And I was shooting that from one direction. That was my key light. We were making use of a lot of negative fill to make sure that the contrast ratio was nice and high. And then wherever needed, we were just making use of a hair light that was going on top of the artist. And that's that's pretty much it, you know? And that we were kind of moving this setup throughout the location and we were using that in different areas. If we were shooting wide shots, we'd move all the lights and everything back out. And then on the closes, we'd move everything inwards. Now, one thing that I think is very important to the look that I hear mentioned a lot on YouTube, but I would feel like I was doing a disservice if I didn't mention it here, is I was shooting shadow side. So key light was on this side. My camera was always on that side. I was never pointing towards the lit side of the face. Making use of that, and shooting shadow side is instantly gonna make your videos look more cinematic. I hate that term, but I do actually think it applies here. Now, although this lighting setup did work for what we wanted to shoot, there were a few times where it kind of came up a little bit short. So on any of the wider shots, unfortunately the Aperture 300D, although it's a very bright light, just wasn't quite bright enough. You know, as soon as we started to get, you know, towards full body shots, we were looking at a more silhouetted situation, which looks good, it looks cool, but it would have been nice to have the option to not silhouette it. And then also one thing that I'm kicking myself for now is I didn't really pay much attention to the eye light. 
all in all, I'm pretty proud of what I managed to do. Obviously, this is my first music video, so I learned a lot from the process. It was fun. I look forward to shooting more music videos, not only for this artist, but also hopefully other artists. And who knows, if you if you do, if you are an artist watching this and you want a music video, reach out to me on Instagram. You know, I'll take a look and if we can do something, then that'd be sweet. But I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, he's, he's gone upstairs again, isn't he? Kubo!